This is Dr. Gloria Braham. Welcome to my sessions in male sexual empowerment, my first series designed to help men help themselves through self-education and self-acceptance. Do you know why most men are worried about erectile dysfunction? The simple answer is that they've been trained to be uptight and ashamed of their own genitals. And that means they develop mentally unhealthy habits and sex-negative attitudes that can actually ruin their virility in bed. With the market for male enhancement products running in the billions and more and more men getting testosterone injections in the hope of restoring vitality, I really feel that men are being scammed into spending all their hard-earned cash on remedies that won't work or worse can be injurious to their health. The fact is that most male performance problems are not the result of a biological malfunction that requires a pill or a shot. The vast majority of common issues with impotence are natural causes which any man can address himself. So first, in today's exercise, I want you to analyze yourself and understand that there's a big difference between organic or chronic impotence and what I'll call situational softness. That's the less than satisfactory erection or lack of erection you may have when you're with a partner. Now, what medical doctors treat is what they call erectile dysfunction, which is synonymous with the more upsetting diagnosis of chronic impotence. In most cases, full-on erectile dysfunction is really coming from an underlying medical issue. For example, if you're taking diabetes medication or blood pressure medication, those drugs can change your blood flow in ways that prevent you from getting adequate flow into your genital region. Another underlying medical issue could be a swollen prostate, which may block off the vessels and keep the testicles from doing their job in helping the penis fill with blood. And in some cases, the problem is really a weakening of your heart or a weight-related issue that is preventing proper blood flow from the trunk of your body into your extremities, including your penis. And of course, prostate surgery, surgeries can completely alter your performance profile. So any and all of the above common male reproductive health issues can result in chronic impotence, mean, meaning that it happens every time or almost every time you try to get an orgasm. So from now on, I'm calling it organic impotence because it is usually caused by other organs or biological mechanisms in the body. Now, organic impotence can also happen in old age, and I'm sorry about that, but you actually could have great sexual health and great erections into old age if you take care of your sexual health and your heart health, which go together like uh, wheels and an axle. <laughs> okay? If, if they're not both uh, working together, the car might just go off the road. Um, but this culture doesn't encourage men to do the natural things, like to exercise their pelvic floor regularly or to make annual trips to the urologist just to make sure that everything's in working order. And for that reason, unfortunately, men on the whole tend to let that part of the body go to hell. And then they try to make up for years of neglect with drugs like Viagra, which may or may not be successful for them. Now, the good news is you don't have to become one of those statistics. You don't have to become dependent on drugs to maintain your function. Um, but the bad news is that you have to take care of yourself because without proper love and care, your genitals will age faster than they have to. And it is exactly that, that neglect of genital health in male for example, failure to masturbate regularly, failure to get small problems checked out, and failure to do pelvic floor exercises, that actually accounts for most of the problems that hit aging men, from scrotal sagging to, as I said, organic impotence. Now, situational softness is a whole different animal. 
For one, unlike the organic variety, situational softness can happen to any man at any age. It can happen when you party too much. It can happen after a game when your team lost, really. It can happen when you're with somebody new and get too nervous. Or it can happen when you're with somebody not new at all, but you feel anxious or judged or otherwise too emotionally uneasy to relax and let your body take over. Or maybe you're with somebody who doesn't really turn you on or you feel guilty about something. And no matter how much you think you want to be with them, your body or your brain disagrees. So situational softness is really a reflection of the condition your body is in that day and how you feel at the moment. So I use a really simple one question technique in my practice when people come to me for what they think is ED to establish whether it's really organic or situational. And so here it is, it's the big one question. Can you get fully hard and complete with an orgasm when you masturbate? So if you never masturbate, I guess you're gonna have to try that right now <laughs> to get your answer. <laughs> Aha, I tricked you into a healthy habit. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you already know. And if you answer yes, and you can release with masturbation, and you have the healthy erection, then your experiences with impotence are most likely about your feelings and not any underlying health issues. In fact, you might be able to identify the factors yourself. If you were my client, we'd be looking at your stress load or how you feel about your partner really, or whether you're dealing with shame or anxiety or depression or any other negative emotions that naturally dampen male performance. And I'll add to that list things like overeating, not getting enough sleep, having a crappy day at work, getting stuck for hours in traffic. You know, all the daily struggles can actually change your sex drive and your performance level for a day or a week or even longer. Because remember, sex starts in your brain. If your brain is not on board for the experience, your penis may literally be unable to lead any charges. But don't panic. If you can get fully hard in climax, your blood flow is fine, and you don't have clinical ED. That means you don't need any kind of shots, and you don't need expensive treatments, and you don't need pills or anything else. What you do need is to work on managing stress, changing bad habits that are hurting your performance, getting enough sleep, learning to relax, learning to expand your erotic repertoire. So spare yourself the self-blaming if you have situational softness. It happens. It is just part of the male experience. It isn't about your penis in most cases. It's about either your emotions, or if you do have chronic ED, it's about something organic which can be repaired. In most cases, you can reduce the occurrence of situational softness through natural means. The power to heal is in your hands. But now let's talk about people who say no and can't get a full erection or climax when they're touching themselves. That means that there's a good chance something is going on with you that needs to be evaluated. You should go to a urologist to make sure there are no lumps or bumps in your scrotum. You should get a check from your doctor that your prostate is in good shape. And if you're really worried, you could get a baseline on your testosterone levels, which is recommended for men over 40 anyway, just to make sure that yours is not experiencing an unusual decline, which again can happen over the age of 40. Now, low testosterone does not automatically mean that you're gonna be impotent but it can alter your sex drive and it can change your performance. And I'm sure somebody out there who did the little quick masturbation or was able to answer about whether or not they get hard is thinking, well, 
I don't quite fit. So let me just cover a few of the common variations in, ma in male health. If you can only get semi-hard while masturbating in a very rubbery way, you probably still belong in the organic impotence category because clearly you are having an issue with blood flow and it needs to be assessed. Remember guys, the penis is part of your circulatory system. So if it's not getting adequate blood flow, something's happening with your circulation. So the standard for a perfect direction is a taut member that is filled with as much blood can fit into its tissues. It becomes engorged, those wonderful little tissues inside there. So if you are only popping rubber or half erections, it could be the beginning of something that could be a major problem down the road. Now, conversely, if you can always get hard with a partner, but never by your own hand, then you still belong in the situational softness category because your function is fine when you have a partner, but there's something in your own mind um, preventing you from enjoying masturbation, whether you feel that it's wrong or too teenage or something you should have grown out of or something that you should only say for marriage chances are that you probably need some emotional affirmation to help you get over your anxiety or distaste for autoerotic pleasure. Now, on a side note, just so you know, ejaculate itself is not a measure of virility. Some men will discover a significant decline in the amount of semen they release as they get older and some are unable to achieve a full release even during intercourse. So if you are judging your erection by the amount of ejaculate, that's not proper. Um, as long as you're able to achieve a full erection and you are able to achieve climax, the quantity and quality of the discharge is not of great importance except either aesthetically or if you are left feeling unsatisfied. There are men, usually older ones, who can actually drip their way to complete climax, and there are young men who don't shoot mighty loads, and it really doesn't matter to your brain. What matters is that your orgasm felt good and that your genitals are working as they should. So remember, Situational softness is about how you feel emotionally, whether you're in good shape on the day you're having the sex. And organic impotence means you need to visit a urologist to prevent today's small problem from turning into tomorrow's tragedy. By knowing the difference between the two, you can spare yourself a lot of personal anxiety about your sexual fitness. Remember, it happens to everyone. It's part of the male life cycle. It's normal. And it's fine. Visit Gloria Bramcom so you can continue your journey with me into total male sexual empowerment by natural means. Remember, I know you're sexy. <laughs>